So on our vet segment, Dr. Molly Welly Hi. from Quick Fix, and um, we want to talk real quick about urinary tract mm -hmm. infections mm -hmm. in cats. Yeah. So can both male and female cats get a urinary tract infection? They can. Um, urinary tract infections are much more common in female cats, and they're not even as common as they are in dogs. So female cats can get infections. It's not as common as, as in dogs, and it's um, a, an infection is relatively uncommon in a male cat but they can get um, inflammation in their bladder that's not necessarily an infection, it's called sterile cystitis. So it's inflammation minus the bacteria infection, but it still causes a lot of problems in cats. And that's, that's um, the problem that we see in male cats pretty often. And some people call them crystals. Yeah, so crystals um, are kind of like precipitates in, precipitates in their bladder that can form, can also um, turn into stones, which would be like a bladder stone that can cause lots of problems um, in male cats, female cats, and dogs. Um, but that kind of goes along with the sterile cystitis in cats, where it's inflammation, sometimes crystals, it depends on the pH of their urine. Um, but it can cause a lot of problems in uh, cats, especially male cats, because of their long, narrow urethra, they can get a blockage. So much pain. So yeah. what do we do? What do we okay, tell so people to do? You know, if you have a male or a female cat or a dog, if you ever notice blood in your animal's urine, um, if they're going more frequently, if they're asking to go outside, if they're going small amounts frequently, like if you notice your dog is, um, or cat is, urinating small amounts and then urinating again or vocalizing when they're urinating like it's painful um, you need to see a veterinarian right away and especially in a male cat because if you have a male cat that's going in and out of a litter box um, sometimes people will confuse it with their constipate like they're trying to go um, to the bathroom but it's but they're but it's they're not trying to poop they're trying to pee but people will get confused because they're straining so if your cat's going in and out of the litter box especially a male cat um, vocalizing acting painful then you really need to see a vet right away because a urinary blockage, um, especially in a male cat, can be deadly. Deadly, yes. absolutely, and very quickly. Oh yeah. Very quickly, I've seen, uh, I've had people say that from perfectly fine to three days dead. Oh yeah, because they, it's almost like going into renal failure because their, their urinary system gets blocked because they can't eliminate that urine and they can go into renal failure and those things that they're supposed to be filtered by the kidney and get rid of gets trapped in their blood and they can die. They can die. Easily. And it's very, very, very painful. Very terrible, painful. Terrible to see. We got a call this past week and a gal was just crying, hardly could speak. Mm -hmm. Her, You could hear her cat screaming in the background mm -hmm. and we had no vet on that day. Mm -hmm. And she, instead of treating the cat, which she could not afford to do, she was going to euthanize it. Mm -hmm. And we couldn't even do that because right. we did not have a vet here. Yeah. And we were crying yeah. because you could hear the cat crying, the person was crying, um, and it happens very quickly. Mm -hmm. it, it, it actually will happen underneath your nose without even noticing it right. until yeah. it's too late. Yeah. Like if you had an outdoor cat and you didn't, and they don't use a litter box, then it can be a lot. Then it can be difficult to detect because you don't right. see them using the litter box. So. And so sometimes you just you just find your cat there like mm -hmm. that, and that's mm -hmm. that's that. Mm -hmm. But um, but we do want to just say. It's very critical to get to a veterinarian, a full service veterinarian that right has away. diagnostics. Yeah, that they can need to do a urinalysis, maybe an x ray, maybe an ultrasound. But you can usually determine if a male cat is blocked by, um, a veterinarian can determine by feeling their abdomen because you can feel their bladder is big, like a softball or a grapefruit. It's hard because, it's, because they can't get their urine out, so it's so distended. Yeah, yeah. So, big deal. Big and it deal. It is treatable. It's, it's, it, it is, is treatable. treatable. You can unblock their bladder using a catheter, put a catheter in their urethra. They have to stay on IV fluids for a few days. They have to keep that catheter open for a few days. Um, but it is treatable. But the problem is um, it can um, occur again once it's occurred once. It's right. more, some cats are just more likely, to, more likely to get it. So then you know, they'll have to have a special diet for the rest of their life. And that's important to do because you don't want that to happen again. And one, just in general, a good thing for every cat is to drink lots of water because the the more uh, dilute their urine, the less likely those crystals and inflammation are to come out, um, especially in a cat that's had problems before. Drinking a lot of water um, is a different problem. It can be a different problem in cats. If your cat is drinking an excessive amount of water, um, then you may have a different problem. But in general, it's good to let make sure your cat has access to good fresh water. Mm -hmm. My Vinny had, uh, had uh, oh, yeah, that's right. and we couldn't do it. We couldn't take care of him here because we don't have the diagnostics. So I went to Dr. Gephardt, who I love. We all love Dr. Gephardt. Get part over at Willow Creek. Uh, she, has uh, she has an emergency, emergency clinic, clinic and it happens to be right around the corner, right around the corner yeah. from my house. Yes. And so she, she was phenomenal at saving, at saving his life, his life because he was pretty bad at the point 
very and it quickly. was very quickly. One or two days. One right. or two days. And he was in the and screening, was in the screening yeah. mode. Yeah. And he had to stay there a couple days. And yes, it was and expensive. Yes, it was expensive. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's, in um, it's in the hundreds. Mm -hmm. And, and, and then, then he came home, and, came and, home and he was doing fine. And we changed. They're all five cats, our males, and they all had to eat his special food. And it's very expensive. It's like four times the amount. But then he relapsed quickly. Yeah. Again, he was on his antibiotic and mm -hmm. everything he and he still relapsed and he went back to the, and vet, back and to the and vet and here he spent another night on a yeah. catheter yeah. and everything but it's been um, probably six months, probably six and, months and, and he's fine he's fine yeah. and he's fine yeah. and he was, and he was oh, worth of course. it oh, so of course. and if your cat and, and, and it's not about whether they're worth or not we all know that you love your cats and stuff but the cost can be prohibitive for a lot of people and we get that so um but yeah the earlier you catch it get them in the earlier you catch it the cheaper it becomes of course Right so away. thank no you problem. again. My pleasure. Yeah, you're Upper, an air yeah, yes. attract infections. <laughs>